Jackie Lansdale is president of the uh, president of Red River United Teachers Union. Hey, Miss Jackie, welcome back to Keel. Happy New Year. How you doing? Happy New New Year to you as well. Thank you, ma'am. Well, the governor says his top priority for his legislative package this year is a teacher pay raise. It's a thousand dollars. Some teacher groups say that is not enough and could warrant some sort of work action. Where do you sit on this debate, Jackie? Well, I think that it's a starting point. I think that's where we start from. That's our point we start from. And uh, I think that's where the conversation begins. There has to be more than that. There has to be a funding stream attached to it. And I think that would make a lot of difference. If you, if you tell me that we're going to start with $1,000, but we're going to identify a way that we will not slip as we have over uh, since 2012, uh, then I think that goes a, a long way. If we don't have that conversation and we only talk $1,000, then, we, then we've, we've got a real problem. What do you mean by funding stream? What, is, what exactly is that? Well, a, a way to, to continue to um, ensure that teachers uh, and school employees' that salaries remain competitive. And whenever, you know, you, you, you think that it's, it's fairly insulting to just send a, a, a throw a thousand dollars at someone and say, hey, I hope, this, I hope this makes you happy because it really doesn't fix the problem. The problem is when you go to a school, even really great school district, and you have as many as 200 classrooms that you don't have teachers in, that's a huge problem. You know, how you spend your time and how you spend your money says what's important to you. Our legislature has spent a lot of time. Um, uh, in, uh, demanding that teachers be accountable for things that really are beyond the capacity of a teacher to be accountable for, but yet they spent very little time in ensuring that there's their funding to um, to make sure we have the most qualified people in our classroom. Jackie Lansdale, Red River United. The Louisiana Federation of Teachers survey shows 61% of members would strike if a pay raise fails to materialize. Do you see those numbers as high here locally or higher? Oh uh, yeah, I absolutely do. I, I always say never underestimate the militancy of a teacher. And whenever I talk about classrooms that you know you're holding me accountable for a, a school performance score, and I'm teaching with classrooms next to me that are manned by uh, non-credentialed or substitute employees, that at that point you're, you're basically saying that uh, you, you're putting it on me to make a decision about how we're going to resolve this issue. And, and quite frankly, you know, Erin, it's more than that. It, it's a, it is the ultimate disrespect that teachers have uh, have been dealt uh, in these in this last decade. And at, at, at this point, money is a part of that. But the, really, the money issue says you don't pay me enough to put up with the legion of issues that I had to deal with. That from um, teaching with you know non-credential uh, teachers next to me to discipline issues, to um, demands coming early, stay late, uh, you know, they go on and on and on. And teachers, you know, quite frankly, have have enough. Jackie, the governor's offer, the governor's initial uh, uh, suggestion of $1,000 a year, that's $20 a week. Um, I kind of get your point. Is that really a hill worth dying on? But how much is? Well, again, it, it, it's, it's a comp. We, what we want is something comprehensive that says, I respect what you do. I, res- I think children are, it, are important enough to the future of our country that we want to put the best and the broadest in those schoolhouses. So, pardon That's me, is, is $20 a week, uh, $20 a week isn't respect? Is 50 is 100 exactly? Because you, you have to have had these conversations not only with your rank and file, but also the other officers and probably principals around the area. It, it, you know, how you pay me says how you respect me. That's a part of it. But the funding stream, that's a part of it. Uh, the, the way we're evaluated, that's a part of it. The tenure is a part of it. All of it is a part of things that, I said, as I said earlier, the legislature has spent a monumental about, amount of time stripping away the attributes of professionalism in the, in the, for teachers. You know, and pay is one part of that. And just, yes, and so when you say that, if that's it, uh, you, you're going to have a... Um, a militant action on your hands. Will I call? Will I do it? No. But will I bring it to my board? Yes, I will. There have been work actions in many states: Arizona, Colorado, Georgia. The mm-hmm. list goes on and on, and and it's worked. You have to be watching that, and you have to be communicating that to your teachers. Do they feel like, you know, this is our last resort? I think those teachers in those states did, and I think that the catalysts were were different catalysts in each one of those in each one of those states. 
In this state, I think it's going to be the lack of respect and the lack of respect to the profession and all the areas I've ta- talked about. The pay is, 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 a, a, is certainly a point. But the point is, you don't pay me enough for what you are asking me to do each and every day. Do you think Do you think at this point, do you think right now, based on what you've said to us in the last two or three or four minutes, do you think the governor gets it? Do you think the state legislature gets it? The, the degree of uh, uh, how serious you and teachers across the state are? I think that we'll see. I think that we'll see in the Bessie and how the, the, our, our best support members, you know, look at the MFP and the, the funding source. I think it starts there. If what we see there is something that is less than desired, I think we'll, that we'll know then. You know, when I think we get to the legislature in the spring, I think we'll certainly know then. Do I think that we're going to get to the legislative session without a, a day of reckoning? I do not believe that, no. Do I think they know it now? You know, we'll see. Jackie, one more thing. The elephant in the room. It's an election year. You guys seem to be over and over in election years. Teachers are used as pawns. Who can vote against a teacher pay raise? It's an election year. Do you feel like that's going to be a big part of this, too? I think it will be. You know, I always say that there's causation and correlation. You know, the correlation will be the the election year. The causation is we've been needing a pay raise for a very long time. But we've been needing to be treated respectfully for a even longer time. And this legislative, many of these legislators are in this right now that are term limited, and some that are not. They are part and parcel of that. And so, yeah, yes, that will be a point that you know when we come to the election cycles, that will be a point that will be at the top of the list.